Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jared, this is my wife Caitlin, and we are the Galloway Farm. And in today's video, I'm gonna be checking off one of the things on my honeydew list, which is the clothesline. Yes, and I'm gonna be telling you why we're building a clothesline and the benefits of using a clothesline. And I think it's kind of funny. Did you have like a chore growing up where you had to bring in the clothes from the line? That wasn't my chore, I had all the chores. Okay, well, I had the chore. Sometimes my mom would be like, go bring in the clothes from the line. And I was like, oh, like that was my least favorite thing to do ever. And now I miss it. So we have come full circle and we're gonna be building a clothesline today. So I'm gonna have Jared just go ahead and show you what we're using, what um, supplies we have to build the clothesline. So the lumber that we're gonna need to do this is one two by four, make sure it's an eight foot board. Then we're gonna do four by four by sixes. We only want our clothesline to be about five foot off of the ground. Plus you're gonna put the cross beam over top so it'll be a little bit taller. And we're also going to use concrete uh, so it'll be nice and secure. We don't know if this is where it's gonna be permanently, but we want it not to move if it is going to be. We also have a bag of concrete mix. This is a 50 pound bag. Post hole diggers to make everything easier. If you have a uh, ratchet system, go ahead and get that out for your lag bolts. Tape measure, drill, uh, screwdriver, some wire cutters for the actual clothesline itself. Screws, a level, because we want our post to be level. Half inch by six inch lag screws with some washers on the end of those. That's what's gonna be fastening everything together. Uh, I don't have a ratchet that's big enough, so you're gonna see me getting frustrated as I use this adjustable wrench, I'm sure. Some eye hooks to put our line on and then the actual line itself. And I wanted the um, wire clothesline instead of just like a cotton clothesline. I feel like this will be more sturdy and it won't sag. Whereas the cotton, I feel like that'll sag and then left out in the rain and sun and all the elements, it might deteriorate pretty quickly. So we chose the wire ones and they're covered in green vinyl. So the first thing we're gonna do is we've got to dig some holes and that's probably my least favorite part of the process. So we're gonna go ahead and knock that out first thing. We're gonna dig our holes uh, a little bit over a foot deep. That way we have some maneuvering room. We can fill it back up if we need to. Then we're gonna actually construct the post, the crossbar, brace everything together and put the eye bolts in at that point. Then we're gonna go ahead and set the posts up, put the concrete in, fill it in with dirt to finish that process. And then lastly, we're just gonna hang the wire. So it should be a pretty straightforward and simple process. Before I forget to mention it, look for a link in the description below that will have all of the measurements that you need. We're making our clothesline to fit our needs about 20 feet apart from the inside of the post. And what that's gonna give us is about eight linear feet of hanging because we're gonna run four strands of wire along the way. So let's get to digging. Okay, so while Jared works on building the clothesline, like I said, I'm going to just run through some benefits of using a clothesline and I'll try to walk you through the steps as he's doing them as well. And right now, like he said, he is digging two holes to put in the posts and he's making the holes one foot deep. So that way our six foot posts will be five foot in the end. So as I said, I hated having a clothesline growing up and that chore of bringing them in off the line was so annoying. And I was like, why don't we just put them in the dryer? I did not understand why we would take that time and go hang up the clothes and then bring them back in. But now as I've gotten older and I have a family of my own, I've learned a little bit more about being earth friendly and um, I've gotten into this homesteading thing a little bit more. So I thought it was time for us to build our own clothesline. And as you see here, we are now cutting the cross beam or the top bar for the posts. And now Jared is drilling a pilot hole to put in the lag bolt screw. And you'll notice here this one got a little crooked, <laughs> but that's okay. Crooked as crap. Crooked as crap. So let's jump into the benefits of using a clothesline. So number one, your clothes are going to smell fresher without having to pay for it. The sun will naturally help kill bacteria on your clothing and then if you add in that fresh outdoor breeze and air, your laundry is going to smell amazing without having to pay for those dryer sheets and other chemical fresheners. And it's just one of the things that I miss the most when I left home was how my clothes and sheets, towels, all that smelled and it's going to sound weird but it just smells like sunshine to me and that's just one of my favorite things. And then number two, speaking of not paying, it's free and it conserves energy. And also you'll see Jared here screwing in those lag bolt screws. 
this took a little bit of time, so I only showed um, one of them. Um, so an electric clothes dryer is one of the top three most energy consuming appliances in American households. So instead, line drying your clothes will reduce your carbon footprint. It's gonna prolong the life of your dryer. Obviously, there's gonna be some days where it's raining or you do a late load of laundry and you don't have time to put it out on the line. And if you don't have room to hang up your clothes inside to dry, then you're gonna have to use that dryer, which is perfectly fine to use it every now and then. So just not using it as much is gonna prolong the life of it. And it's gonna save you money in the long run. You might think, okay, it's gonna save me a few cents. But think of how many loads of laundry you do. That's actually gonna save you quite a bit of money in the long run because this clothesline, hopefully, <laughs> will last a very long time. So I think I did the math and maybe in about a year, um, I can earn back my money that I would have normally spent putting into running the dryer from building this clothesline. And speaking of which, this clothesline, it cost under $70. And I do have a blog post up on our blog, the GallowayFarmBlog.com, that lists out all the steps of building the clothesline and all the tools and supplies we needed and the price of each of them. So it um, came out to under $70. And then also I'm gonna have a post on the benefits of using a clothesline on our blog as well. So you can check that out after the video. And then number three, um, the third benefit of using a clothesline, no static cling. So when you take the clothes off the line, you're not gonna get shocked. Um, it won't shrink your clothes and drying them outside is a lot more gentle on them. The dryer, it tumbles your clothes, that causes friction, and then that wears them down over time. And that dryer lint that you have to take out of your dryer and keep throwing it away, that's fiber from your clothing. So <laughs> it's tearing apart your clothing slowly Drying your clothes on the line will not do that. Number four, it gets you outside. This one just speaks for itself. I just love an excuse to be outside and it may take more time individually to hang up each piece of clothing on the line rather than just toss them all in the dryer in one big ball. But sometimes it's nice to just be forced to slow down and take in what's around you, get some fresh air, all that good stuff. So as you can see, we are now putting up the clothesline posts. Jared already braced the post as you saw. Um, so now we got it leveled and he is putting a cement mix around it. Then he's gonna spray it and I'm just holding it to keep it level. So the fifth benefit of using a clothesline, there's no fire risk. So I may just be exaggerating here, but I have always been scared to leave my house with the dryer running because I was always scared I was gonna get back home and my house would be burned down. So it's as simple as you're not using your dryer, you're not gonna have a fire risk with that. And then the sixth benefit, if you have kids, it's an easy chore. So if I would have told myself this when I was a teenager, I would have rolled my eyes. As I said, I hated this chore growing up, but it's true. Teaching them to bring the clothes in from the line is a super simple task that they can do once they're old enough at least. Um, Addie's obviously not old enough or tall enough to reach the clothes pins on the clothesline, so she won't be doing this for a while. Maybe I can get her a stool and speed up the process, but um, it will get them outside and it will teach them some responsibility. So that's always a good thing. By the way, check out Hank in the background, just moseying along. <laughs> We're working on putting up the second post right now. And then we put in the eye screws. Um, we should have done that before we put the post in the ground, but we were dodging rain all day. So we kind of got off track, but you'll see me kind of bracing it in the background for Jared as he puts in the screws. And then he put up the actual line, which was pretty simple. And now we have our clothesline. So I may end up putting some stain on the wood just to help it last a little bit longer. Um, I went back and forth between painting it white and staining. I think the stain will probably help it last longer than the paint. So I'll probably end up doing that at some point. And then I've seen some people have um, hung hooks on the end of the clothesline, the posts, and then hanging like a flower hanger or something like that. So that's a neat idea too. But yeah, so I'll let you watch the rest of the video without me rambling in your ear. I hope you enjoy. And again, if you want to build your own clothesline, there's a link in the description box of the supplies we used, how much they cost, and the steps to do it. And then also, if you wanted to read again the benefits of using a clothesline, I'll have that link down below as well.
So that is it as far as our build goes here on this clothesline, about two, two and a half hours build time. As we said earlier in the video, everything that you will need will be down in the description below. Sorry, I'm having to hold my hat. We're getting a storm that's blowing and we've been having to dodge rain all day. But that's it. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if this video helped you out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, we're always happy to have you along. And that's it for this one.